Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor is due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Recha Kodash. <coughs> Double honors to the apostles, elder, elder bishops, bishops of Great Millstone, and teachers of Great Millstone, and like minded men who may not be part of Great Millstone but are pushing the same doctrine as um, the apostles on down given to them from Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai directly. Yeah. They've got the Holy Spirit from Apostle Taha on down, Apostle Taha, Apostle Gabar, Apostle Ramlab, Apostle Rakar, Apostle, sorry, Salaki, Apostle Taha, Apostle Gabar, Apostle Rakar, Apostle Ramlab, and all the men of GMS, um, be it the teachers, the elders, elder bishops. Um, you know, that's that's where the truth lies. You know, um, John 8 and 32 says, The truth, you shall know the truth, and the sh truth shall sh set you free. The truth is, um, and so, so like, yeah, um, salutations to the elect men, women, and children of Bayafta Wadalas, the house of David, David, who are predestined to be saved in these last days. That's the elect of Yasharala, you know, he, Prince Power of the house of David. From these tribes that you see in front of you, from the 12 tribes of Israel, the Hebrew Israelites, from Judah, which is the head tribe, down to Issachar commonly known um, today from um, the Negroes, the Native um, Americans and the Hispanics. And also um, we, have, we are scattered throughout the world. So we will have um, so-called Chinese or the Moabites looking Israelites because Israel has been scattered. We will have Israelites coming from every nation. Yeah, they are Israelites. Whatever um, covering they've got on their, their, in their flesh, yeah. So it's not a, about a colour thing, it's about um, speaking to the elect of the nation, nation of Israel who are predestined to be saved in these last days. On Yahweh Shai's return, Matthew 24, um, 30, 31. When Yahweh Shai, or Salakia, um, Yahweh, being the name of the Heavenly Father, not Jehovah, not God. Um, Yahweh, meaning He is, he, he exists, He to be. And Yahweh Shai, not Jesus, yeah, it's not His name. The letter J again wasn't in, first used till 1524. Got that from the apostles. Um, so he named Yahweh Shai, not Jesus. Um, Yahweh Shai meaning he is salvation, he delivers, he saves. And he's come to save his people. Yeah, <laughs> his people. Um, Luke, just, just off the top, top of my head, Luke um, 68 1. Verse, chapter 1 verse 68 to 71 yeah um, so that's it today it's just um, a bit more of a um, news update regarding um, the wars um, that's going on and, the, and some of the drills that are going around because we're in a time of war yeah and that's what Yahweh Shai said when he spoke yeah <clears throat> when he was here and when he's due to return again in his glorious body so I'm gonna go to um okay for that. I'm gonna go to like it one second. Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars. These words, these words are written in red, so that's how you know the, the words of Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Um, and ye shall hear, Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumours of wars, and see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom, kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. Let's go into this word diverse. Qatar, Qatar. 
down from throughout. Outline of biblical usage. Preposition. Right. According to, after, against, in, daily. It's strong definitions. Particle down in the place, in the time, yeah. In varied relations, in, in basically different places. Um, the case, gen genitive, dative, or accusative. Okay. Accusative. With which is it is joined about according to after against they were alone among and apart pertaining to aside after beyond by the charge covered many many variations of it yeah they are basically in different places uttermost so um particularly I'll go to the bottom particularly so through through, through, throughout, ever, every, thus, together, toward, uttermost, basically, where and with. So, in that, different places, basically, yeah? Yeah, that's what that goes into. I'm going to read it in the um, NLT to get a better understanding of that, if that wasn't clear. Um, nation who will go to war against nation. This is um, verse 7. And kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in many parts of the world. You see? But at all this is only the first of the birth pains with more to come. So what we're seeing is these nations, you know, Esau, Edom, be divided against itself. It's a house, it's a, if a house be divided, the house cannot stand. We get that actually. Um, is that Mark? The one in Mark. Three. <clears throat> That's that. Start twenty four. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against Satan, against sorry, Salakia, and if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but have an end. And what we're seeing is the fall of the, um, these Edomites, right? So the Edomites from Russia, you know, who occupy the land of Gog and Magog, which goes into Ezekiel 38th chapter. We're not, um, you know, um, we're not going to go into that right now. But what we can see is Ezekiel 38 chapter coming to um, fruition and the manifesting yeah the, the fact is um, Lord Yahweh Shai will put hooks into thy jaws and we're seeing um, you know Putin and all his and, and um, his his armies being raised up yeah and he's going all in he's going all in you know we have the propaganda over in the west saying he's going to lose well anyway what we're seeing is Satan's house being divided against itself. You know, Russia and NATO, NATO being um, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, um, which consists of various countries, with um, NATO as part of the beast, which is NATO and the EU, which you find in Revelation um, 13th chapter, um, and also the and various other chapters. And the whore, which is Babylon the Great, which is America, right? That rides the beast. So what we're seeing is um, a, a kind of de facto war, really. Um, Russia is not really fighting. They are fighting officially, the Ukrainians. But what we're seeing is the North Atlantic Treaty Organization being part of the beast, um, technically going to war with, you know, um, Russia, you know, which is just again the time the beginning of sorrows, time of war. So I'm gonna read some of these headlines. I've got a few scriptures. I'm sorry, I've got a few more scriptures, Lord will I get to them. I'm reading the headlines. Russia attacks Kiev with kamikaze drones. And I've got a few videos actually I can show you as well. And to give you an example of what it's like. EU to set to 
train. I'm quickly going to go through the bullet points, I'm not really going to the um, articles. Um, so I'm going to put, Lord's will, I'll put the articles in the description box <clears throat> so you can read them yourself if you, if you wish. EU set to train 15,000 Ukrainian troops, provide more arms funding for Kiev. Ukraine and Russia, what do you need to know? What we need to know is prophecy, 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 prophecy. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> this is one um, that was in blacklisted news. Biden's broken promise to avoid war with Russia may kill us all. No, not the world. No, that's not going to happen. The earth, the world, the body, the fair, found that in Ecclesiastes 9. I'm um, sorry, first chapter, yeah. Um, what is going to happen is the nukes will go off, though, eventually. The elect will be beamed up and saved by when Yahweh Shai returns and he's with the angels and ships. Um, um, Isaiah 31 and 5 comes to mind um, as, as birds flying, you know. And Yahweh Shai return, beam up his elect and, um, you know, kill and destroy at the same time. And so will the nukes. But there will be some of the, the remnants of the elites in the bunkers. Not all parts of the world will, will be um, damaged. Yeah. Sorry, not all parts of the world will, will, will be nuked. So um, there will be people here because when New Jerusalem returns after after the crowning from Yahweh Shai, yeah, and when New Jerusalem returns to the earth, um, the Israelites in their glorious bodies, we can find that in first um Corinthians 15th chapter, you know, um, incorruptible bodies of the Israelites, the elect, the ruling, um, the rulership, the 144,000 and the remain, remaining elect. When the ruling body of the New Jerusalem returns, um, then those um, elites and those people and those rebels that, that survived the um, destruction, you know, the day of doom, will be gathered together in a pit. Yeah, the scriptures go into that, but like I said, I'm not going to go into that right now. I'm not going to bring those scriptures out, but I'm just going to try and stick to this point um, about, you know, wars and rumours of wars. Um, on March 11th, 2022, President Biden reassured the American public and the world that he, he the United States and NATO allies were not at war with Russia. Never trust an enemy, you know. He speaks softly with his words, right? <laughs> Ecclesiastes 12 and 10, you know, um, Psalms 58 and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go straight as soon as they be born, speaking lies. And Esau Edom is the wicked. Yeah, the so-called white man is the wicked. And the Bible speaks of the wicked, Malachi 1 and 4. All right. We will not fight a war with Russia in Ukraine, said Biden. Direct conflict between NATO, that's the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, and Russia is World War Three. Something we must strive to prevent. They're not. Pre they won't prevent it. You know, Isaiah nine or five comes to mind. In fact, let me get that. Isaiah. Right. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. And it's talking about the third word. The third word cometh quickly. Yeah, and what did Yahweh Shai say? Let me get Luke's like here. Twelve and forty-nine. I come to send fire on the earth. What's that? Russian defense mission. Let me continue with scriptures. That's just the um, telegram headline that I had, you know, uh, uh, notification. I come to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it already be kindled? And this is what we're seeing. We're seeing the fire being kindled. Right, so we'll go back to the article. You know. So I'm going to finish off this last paragraph here. 
It is wise, widely acknowledged that US and NATO officers are now fully involved in Ukraine's operation war plan, operational war planning, aided by a broad range of US intelligence gathering an analysis to exploit Russia's military vulnerabilities while Ukrainian forces are armed with US and NATO weapons and what is going on there? Let him touch it. Oh man. So lucky for that. Well, what happened there? I'm certain that is not. <laughs> Anyway, you got the gist there, Lozel. I'll put this in the description box. You know, we've got here, got another article. Um, President Xi, that's China's um, headman, warns US that China will not back down from threat of force in Taiwan. You know, this is just Kiev explosions in New York Times. Ukraine explosions rock Kiev a week after Russian strikes. This is from today, October. 17th in New York Post. Like I said, I'm not going to go into these. I'm just going to... Um, I'm going to get a quick video on what a kamikaze drone does. If it would load up. <clears throat> Bear with me one second while well, this thing is loading up. Cause I'm using my phone's Wi-Fi. Yeah, so lucky for this, I did have some um, videos lined up, but I don't seem to be able to get a connection proper. So one sec. So, do it this way. Said, um, yeah, there was actually a better video, but obviously it's been taken down um, from Scott Ritter. Scott Ritter's a good, um, he used to be a Marine, and I think he was a, um, a nuclear, um, one of those guys that goes around working for the IAEA, um, going around testing people's, or looking at people's nuclear capability and all that business. Yeah, um, so if you if can, I'd, I'd, to get, you know, get information latest information um so subscribe to him still let me try and get something that I was gonna is it on here I think it's on here Yeah, you know what? The fact is, the um, don't seem to be. The internet seems to be messing up about it still. So I'm just gonna go finish it off with um. What was the words? I'm gonna finish it off with the scripture.
verse. And knowing the time, this is Romans 13th chapter and the 11th verse, and knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The short time that I've been in this, um, um, Yahweh Hashem has given me the ability to understand this truth. Things have changed and I've only um, been really fully aware of the truth over the past two or three years, right? So, and believe me, the, the vision is speaking. Habakkuk 2 and 3, the MOTB, which is the microchip, the C-HIP is um, being rolled out as we speak. I just went into the Elder Amma, um, watch Elder Amma Wanga Bars video from the New York camp. You might have seen it, um, he was going into that and obviously they've been into this truth for a lot longer than what I have and, uh, you know, <laughs> if you can't see that Revelation 13, 16 to 18 is the MOTB RFID chip, C-HIP, yeah, um, then yo, because it's not sleeping with white women, it's not Christianity, it's not an embargo, it is um, what the elders and apostles, apostles and elders and teachers of great Muslims say it is, which is the M to the O to the T to the B, yeah, the C hip. With that, Lord's will, um, this, this update was edifying, Lord's will, Adorn Ratazar, this is edifying to the elect, Yasharallah, stay prayed up, no matter what we go through, because we go through battles every day, we all do, you know, I just watch GMS Watchmen, heavy video you know we all, well anyway so like yeah um yeah stay prayed up call hello yahawa ba'ashem yahawashai ba'ashem akakudash thawada for allowing me to bring out this piece of information um laws will it was any fine to the elect and again to the elect from the hopeful elect i say shalom kwam yasharala let's rise israel and abad babawa